So this is where I'm currently at with a um, extra large commission for this holiday season. Um, I am almost done with these pups. There's just a, a little bit more detail work to start doing. I've gotten the uh, the St. Bernard, the Bully Dog, and the Palm pretty much finished. I've got their little bed area pretty much done. I just need to finish up Kitty Cat and the uh, the sweet old mix on the other side and get their details in. And then I'm going to be uh, going over the background one more time with a blue-gray wash just to kind of bring it all together a little bit nicer and tie everything in and it should be just about ready to ship um, after the uh, the blizzard that we're going to be having this weekend. Right now my pup dogs are outside and what sounds like it's beginning to rain because they uh, decided that they didn't want to come in when I tried to let them in so I'm going to give them two or three more minutes and then go round up my herd of schnauzers. Um, but I'm going to just leave this run for a couple minutes to watch some more progression and uh, go ahead and you can leave any comments that you want down there below um, any questions anyone might have I am still taking commissions but they may not be done in time for Christmas at this point um, I have uh, another triptyarch or a, a three piece that needs to be done when I fin when I complete this so um, that's going to take me another couple weeks although they're smaller pictures they're not quite as not quite as big as this one um, I like to I like to give myself at least a a couple weeks lead time to make sure that I get I get enough detail in I'm uh, I'm lightening up his spots now because the uh, they're not actually that dark on the actual dog. They're more like under the first spots than really on the first spots. So I wanted to just knock them down a bit after I got the initial ones set. So that's what I'm currently doing. This is a mixed media piece, although this is primarily done in watercolor. Um, it's also mixed with uh, acrylic and Sharpie and uh, watercolor pencil and watercolor marker. Because I, I don't usually do do anything straight one media. I, I like I like to do a lot of mixed media. Um, I like to do a lot of uh, varied. Uh, varied media paintings and I think it, it can give them a little more depth when you don't just restrict yourself to one uh, one type of medium to work with Yeah. 
In other news, I'm back doing some more video editing work for another project. And I hope to be able to have that finalized, approved by the client, and get permission to post that up to my channel or my website soon. I'm still working towards launching my own actual studio. Um, there's still a Kickstarter going on on my website. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to save up some money um, past just the breaking even point where I could actually get um, uh, some different licensing and uh, start like an actual company, which is something I've been looking forward to doing for a while. dog. I think I'm probably going to leave this one alone now. I think that's about as good as this one's going to be getting. At least for now. In other news, we are expecting a blizzard here in southern Indiana. It's just starting to rain a little bit now. Like I said, I'm going to have to go and collect the dogs shortly. Although, they've been kind of brats. They've been wanting to um, kind of stay outside and bark at the neighbor's cows and my goats. Because they're brat dogs some more so than others. This guy's getting a little more blue right there because he's actually in the shadow of the bulldog. Um, I'm trying to make it so all the shadows are on towards this side. That's the goal for this piece anyway, is to get all the lighting going in the right direction and matching all everybody's coats back to uh, correct patterns and all that fun stuff. And I like to um, bring a little bit of color from one part of the painting into other parts so that it all ties together better when you uh, have kind of a continuous color palette like this. Just get little little hints of things that can all kind of blend together. I've been layering this for probably two weeks and spending 
between an hour and three hours on it every day. So we got a, well, most days. I did take um, Thanksgiving off that uh, that weekend. I kind of put put it up for a little bit and just enjoyed, you know, kind of a quiet family time. So I'm just now back into it. And sometimes you gotta go kind of slow. You know, you put a color down, and you gotta wait and sit and let it dry, and then you go back later and poke a little more into it and do it again. Put another layer on, and sometimes take a layer off. It can be a little tedious, but you end up getting a very nice nice result in the end if you just kind of take it slow which for me is difficult I don't I don't like slow normally when I'm working on my um my digital projects I usually try to be very very quick with my turnaround time I try to be very realistic with my clients if um kind of you know gauging how long something is going to take I'm usually usually pretty good at guessing within a couple hours but I try to give them a realistic schedule of when I think I'm going to complete something and I always allow myself extra time just because um, you know someone needs a last minute change or something comes up or uh, someone else ends up being a point of failure which is kind of the one of the projects that I'm working on now um, there was a, another person that ended up being a point of failure so I'm going back in as a as a cleanup which I don't mind. I feel bad for the guy. I should have had his stuff done a while ago. I don't mind. I don't mind doing cleanup projects, though. Oh, kitty kitty. She's actually a slightly tabby, puffy Persian blue. I think it coming up on 15 minutes, I'll probably take a break from this video and come back to it later when it's done. So you all can see the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.